And good afternoon, everyone. A video update here on IndianaWeatherOnline.com as we continue to track the winter storm and the blizzard. Our video update is sponsored by Nettle Creek Hardware in Hagerstown and the BootboxOnline.com. Check them out for all your boot needs. Um, for the rest of the afternoon, to keep updated on the latest weather information, be sure to follow our Facebook page, Twitter, and you can also download our mobile app. Just search for IndianaWeatherOnline.com on the Google Play or Apple iOS store. On radar right now, we continue to see heavy snow falling from Lafayette, Monticello, across much of northwestern Indiana, starting to get some rain and snow mixing in together at Fort Wayne, and that rain snow line marching to the south and to the east. Lafayette, Monticello reporting blizzard conditions with visibility under a quarter of a mile, winds gusting up to 40 miles per hour, and heavy snow falling. And we really don't have many changes to our forecast. Here's our snow cast through tomorrow. At this point, we're calling this a high-confidence forecast of 8 to 12 inches of snow falling across northwestern Indiana, Valparaiso, South Bend, into southwestern Michigan. 6 to 8 inches of snow for places like Lafayette, um, Vermilion County, Park County, up towards um, northeastern Indiana, north of Fort Wayne, up towards Angola, and then 4 to 6 inches of snow at Terre Haute. Terre Haute, I think you're on the higher end of that, closer to 6 inches with that band running up towards Tipton, Kokomo, Fort Wayne and Toledo. Meanwhile, we have two to four inches of snow for places like Vincennes, Indianapolis, Muncie, Richmond, and into western Ohio towards Greenville, and then less snow farther south. And like we told you last night on our IndianaWeatherOnline.com Facebook page, we were anticipating blizzard conditions across northwestern Indiana. Blizzard conditions defined as winds at over 35 miles per hour, visibility under a quarter of a mile, and falling or blowing snow it has nothing to do with how much snow falls, but really the key thing here is that low visibility. So we do now have blizzard warnings in effect for much of northwestern Indiana, Valparaiso, Gary, South Bend, LaPorte, down towards Monticello through Thursday. Winter storm warnings stretch from Vermilion County up towards Kokomo and now up towards Angola, and then winter weather advisories from Terre Haute, Indianapolis, Fort Wayne, and the winter weather advisory extended now to include Ma Madison, Delaware, Henry, um, Randolph, and Hancock counties. I do think that we could see the winter storm warning extended to include Terre Haute and Fort Wayne. We'll watch that this afternoon. I also think the blizzard warning might be extended into Lafayette, so we'll keep an eye on that as well. As we take a look at our future look, by 4 o'clock today, that rain snow line marches south and east, and we expect Fort Wayne and Indianapolis to be getting close to all snow. By this evening and the evening commute, it's going to be messy. Blowing and drifting snow, especially blowing snow with low visibility and heavy snow develops across much of central and northern Indiana. Snowfall rates could be pretty heavy at times, which means that road crews will probably have a difficult time keeping up with things. By tomorrow morning, not much better for the Thursday morning commute. More snow continues across the area. Again, low visibility. And snow across the entire area with snow squalls. And we expect roads to be treacherous tomorrow morning with another round of low visibility. Several counties have already declared travel watches. Lake, Laporte, St. Joseph, March, Marshall, Pulaski, and White counties now under code orange or travel watches. Some of those areas could be upgraded to travel warnings as blizzard conditions really set in. And that red means that travel is prohibited and we'll be watching those counties closely. We do have several advisories in effect for Hamilton, Tippecanoe, Howard, Carroll, and on farther north, um, including Elkhart and Kosciuszko County. Um, but like I said, we expect these conditions to continue to be upgraded as conditions worsen this afternoon. But again, we're going to be watching things very closely. We expect conditions to deteriorate as we head into the afternoon and evening. We're already seeing those heavy snowfall rates up towards Monticello and Lafayette where we're getting reports of visibility under a quarter of a mile. And if you live in northwestern Indiana from Lafayette up towards South Bend, Valparaiso, Chicago, we don't recommend traveling this afternoon. It's going to get nasty out there. Conditions are going to worsen. So and if you can, stay home or leave work early and get home and stay there. The other thing we're concerned about is some power outages. We have had reports of some ice accumulation this afternoon. That combined with the heavy water latent snow that we're going to get and winds of 40 to even 50 miles per hour this evening and tonight could lead to some power outages across parts of the area. So um, be mindful of that. Make sure you're prepared for that, and we'll keep you posted. So stay tuned to IndianaWeatherOnline.com. Follow us on Twitter. You can check our website and download the mobile app, and we'll have updates for you. Um, throughout the afternoon, stay safe out there, Indiana, one of our um, better storm systems of the year, and it's going to get nasty this afternoon.